as the journal Dialogue and Universalism is indexed in many international databases, and we felt that that serves the interest of our members much better. Uh, some members need those publications in officially indexed journals for academic advancement, recognition from their universities, and this sort of thing. So we are very pleased that we've been able to uh, reestablish and uh, strengthen our relationship with the uh, journal Dialogue and Universalism, which, when you look at the cover, it says the journal of the International Society for Universal Dialogue. We're very pleased and privileged to have such a relationship with, with a journal. One other thing before I forget it is for the first time we have published a book of abstracts and on the initiative of Professor Sharnotska, those abstracts were published as a special edition of the journal, which means that all of the scholars, many of them are not present because not everyone could make it, their abstracts were published in this journal and for many scholars in a number of regions that will count as an official publication for their academic advancement. And so please join me in congratulating Mal Grisada for this. And one more word about the hard work that Professor Sharnotska has done. For many people in many countries, it is difficult to get visas to come here. There's a, it's a very difficult process. Many people in a number of countries had to travel to a city hundreds of miles away from their home city to have an interview at the Polish embassy before those visas could be granted. And in many cases, those interviews were delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. Mal Grisada contacted the Polish uh, Foreign Service Embassy and insisted that they contact those regional embassies and speed up the process of those interviews. And I know that there are a small, at least a small number of people here that would not have been here had not Mal Grisada intervened in that diplomatic process.